Hello. So welcome to episode 14 on our series titled Practical Computer Vision and Deep Learning. And um, we're going to continue from where I left off in the last video. And in this video, I basically want to show you, um, I want to explain to you how the coordinate system in OpenCV works okay so the code you are seeing on the screen is um, exactly where we left off in the previous video and so i'm going to get out of this and i'm going to explain to you how the coordinate system works i actually bought an app called ink to go and um, it allows you to write anywhere on your screen so this is what i'm going to use to explain stuff to you okay so i'm going to draw a rectangle um, which color is going to be good blue and let me try to draw a rectangle right here okay so let's assume that this rectangle you see here is an image okay if this indeed is an image then this let me choose something black okay so if this is an image then whatever number of pixels are along this axis sorry i am not very um, conversant with using this software so this right here gives you the number of rows of pixels in your image so to read the rows, you read it from top down, and then to read the columns, you read it from left to right, okay? So this gives you the number of columns, and I think I need to get myself a magic mouse here. Okay, cool. So if I had, let's say 500 pixels, along the vertical axis and I had um, say 400 pixels along the horizontal axis then this image is going to be read as a 500 by 400 pixel image okay so what I'm trying to say is if you read this image in OpenCV and then you did, uh, you call the shape attribute of it. It was going to return you a tuple of this format where the number of rows is listed first. Okay. And then there's a comma and the number of pixels that forms the weight it's listed second so basically you get the height this is the height and then you get the weight of the image and because an image is a grid a two-dimensional grid that stores values that represent um, um, colors okay we are able to manipulate images by selecting specific range of pixels which is usually called region of interest in um, computer vision so sometimes when you are operating on images you are not interested in everything on the image you are rather interested in specific regions for example if you are doing um, object detection once the object you are looking for is found you are interested in highlighting that area where the object is found in the image and um, you need to be able to understand the coordinate system of um, OpenCV to be able to do those basic image manipulations and this is how the coordinate system works starting from the top left corner this is where I have highlighted that is the point 0 
zero. Okay. And then this point here, where I'm highlighting now, is going to be, so this is how you read it. You first read the point along the x-axis or the horizontal, and then you read the point along the vertical axis. Okay. And because this is a 500 by 400 image, this point here is going to be 0.400. Uh, I'm not writing fast enough with this thing. I'll get used to it. Excuse me for that. So this is going to be the point 400. 500 so 400 along the horizontal and then 500 along the vertical so what it means is when you start from the top left corner as you move in the right direction along the horizontal your x is increasing okay so x increases so let me just draw an arrow as you move this way your x increases so this is going to be your x increases okay and then as you travel down the vertical your y increases okay so if you are interested in any area of your image you need at least two points you need a start and the end and depending on the geometric figure you want to draw or highlight in your image you would have to um, you might be interested in drawing a line or you might be interested in drawing a rectangle okay and for each of these geometric figures you need at least two points and so the whole idea of this video is to explain to you how to um, understand the coordinate system in OpenCV and then be able to apply it in the next le lessons that um, I'm going to record and in those lessons I'm going to focus on how to draw geometric figures on images and I will explain to you why it is important to be able to draw such figures okay all right so thank you very much for watching and um, I will see you in the next video